안녕하세요. Today we are going to learn how to optimize React JS components. Before I start this video, I have to talk about optimization. Do not optimize if you don't need to optimize. By this I mean that sometimes people start optimizing from the beginning when nobody is using their website, when they even haven't finished it. That is a waste of time. Optimize when you feel like your app is slow and only optimize where you know that you can optimize. There is no point in optimizing unnecessary components. Only optimize the components that are slow, all right? So having said that, let's look at what we have right now. What I have right now is an app component with account, set count, name, and set name, right, as a state. Now, every time I press add, we are increasing the count variable. And as you know, we are triggering a re-render to update the number, all right? Remember this, I, I, I know you know this, but just to say that React re-renders every time the state changes. Okay, so now that we know this, let's look at this component, normal component. It takes only one prop, which is name, right? And if you look at normal component, you will see it here, beautiful component, okay? Now this component only takes one prop and that's, it. That's, it. that's the only thing it does. It just says Nicholas, perfect. But as you can see, what's happening here, or if you can imagine, is that every time I click add and every time I increase count, every time I re-render the application, I am also re-rendering normal component. I know this is not an example of a very expensive component, but still, imagine that, right? Usually expensive components means components that are performing calculations, components that are sending requests to the API, components that are listening to events from the browser. These kind of components are the ones that might make your application slow, and these components are the ones that you will like to optimize. And the way you optimize them is by avoid re-rendering them when you don't need to re-render them. So let me show you here, just let's do a, a quick test of console log every time this component re-renders. If you don't know use effect, use effect is a component did mount, update and on mount in the same one. If you don't know about hooks, check out our free React.js hooks, it's free. The best price is free, free, free. Check it out, it's for free. All right, so every time that normal component re-renders, we're going to see I rendered. Let's check it out. So as you can see, when the count is increasing, we're re-rendering, and that means that we are re-rendering normal component. Now, like I said, this could be a bottleneck for you. This part could be what kills your application one day. So that's exactly what we want to avoid. We want to avoid re-rendering this component unnecessarily. Now to the rescue, there is something called React Memo, Capuche. What React Memo will do is that you will wrap React Memo around your component like this, right? And this React Memo will memorize the props that are being sent to this component and if and only if those props change, then he will allow the component to re-render, okay? So if you don't believe me, let's test this. Now I'm going to start increasing the count and as you can see, the I rendered only happened once. How cool is that? Okay, it's awesome. Now, of course, if we change the prop name, then we're going to re-render again. So let's try to change the prop name. Uh, let's set timeout, set name. All right. And of course that will re-render it again. All right, after five seconds. But then it's an update that actually was about this component. So basically what React Memo is doing is just saying like, hey, if there is a re-render, but it does, it's not really your component business, then let's not re-render that component because it might be an expensive thing to do. Again, don't do this from the beginning, do it when you need it, but it's a good thing to know. React Memo will save your day if you want to avoid unnecessary re-renderings. 
Thank you for watching. I am your host, Nicolas. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Leave a like, leave a comment. I love you. I hope you love me. Bye-bye.